Yeah. How long have you been running? Ah, I'm about six months. Six months? Six months? Yeah. How many kilometers? No idea. I don't count the kilometers anyway. You like but it? I think it's good. It's nice if you want to give a try about barefoot running. Okay. But somehow I don't subscribe to the hype and sound and the euphoria surrounding it because I don't think I think people can get injured out of if you they do it wrongly. What's one thing that you like? It's more stable and better balance when you run. Has it improved your pace? I'm not sure. I don't really measure my pace any day. So I rarely run. How about your stride? Stride is okay. Okay. It's reasonably good because the other shoes occasionally because I either pronate much or sometimes you know I lose the balance. I get unnecessary pains in my hamstring and stuff. But I think this one is good that year. If there's one thing that uh, people should watch out for while they're switching to barefoot, mm. what would caution. that be? Caution. General overall caution about the way their legs function because your calf muscle, the, the entire leg below the knee is going to pain for the first few days. Okay. So it makes a good sense to actually switch between Vibram and normal shoes. If people just go on only with Vibram, they are necessarily going to get put extra strain on the same muscles and they get injured. Yeah, wrong but if they shuffle between Vibram and shoes, it hey, will see you. Yeah, see you. Okay. Would you run your comrades with this? I hope so. I'll do my training. I'll see you. But I, I don't. I don't want to sit it to shift back to shoes again. Shoes again. Okay. So I'm not. I don't want to be paranoid about it. <laughs> Good job. So, Thanks, Balaji. Yeah.